Okay, hello there. Um, just got a quick update before I um, narrate the battle. Uh, it's just really uh, I've got exams coming up for my AS levels, so Pokemon's not going to be one of my priorities. I can get time to narrate the one or two videos I've still got, um, but I won't be going around having battles or anything for a little while. Um, it just yeah, I need to concentrate on doing well, I guess. Um, the last exam's on the 9th of June, so it's only for a month or so, or just under a month, that I'll be not battling and all. I've got a couple more videos I can upload, I just need to narrate them and stuff. Um, so basically, yeah, I might have VGC in the middle, I don't know if I'll be going or not yet. Hopefully I will be, and I might might get a VGC battle up when I, if I go or something. But other than that, it might be, it might slow down after this week, so, um, and completely stop for about a month. So, uh, yeah, it's just a warning for when I don't upload. So, yeah, we're gonna go have this battle now, uh, yeah. Okay, this is an OU battle with Louie from Soldier, and, yeah, that, that's about it, really. Um, so, yeah, Soldier, um, you've probably heard about it from Seb K, Shark Tamer, all these other cool people, go join. Okay, I'll leave a link. So, he leads off with a Rose Raid, and I lead off with Merchilago the Zapdos. I go for a Thunderbolt just in case he switches to something like Heat Run, predicting Heat Wave, but instead he just puts my uh, Zapdos to sleep with Sleep Powder. So, I then switch into my Metagross, because it will just completely wall him, although he can paralyze me, which he does. But, I'm just going to Earthquake it, and that is going to kill the Rose Raid. So that's that sorted. Um, uh, so he, he brings in a Swampert and sets up some Stealth Rocks. I'm going to um, Meteor Mash there, but I get paralysed and then I misclick and hit Earthquake instead of Meteor Mash. Because Meteor Mash was actually going to do some notable damage, but yeah. And he's just going to roll me out into Heat Ran, which is sort of the worst thing I could have out against the Swampert. So I have to switch, and I bring back in Merchilago as he switches at the same time, and he brings in Latias. Um. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Um, so he's going to set up his calm mind, and I'm still asleep. He then goes for a Dragon Pulse, and uh, yeah, that's my second turn of sleep. Now it doesn't quite care of me. I'm still asleep. Third calm, well, second calm mind. That's my third sleep. Uh, sleep again for the fourth turn, and he's just going to kill me off with the Dragon Pull. So, yeah, nice one. Oh well. Um, so I'm just going to Snorlax now because he's going to take all the special attacks. Really gets poisoned by the Toxic Spikes that got set up earlier by the Roserade. His Surf's not going to do a lot, but my Crunch isn't going to do brilliantly either. Um, it's like just under half, but well, it's less than half. So. Uh, I'm getting hurt by poison, leftovers, I hate you all, why do you take so long? So I go for another crunch and he switches to Infernape, which doesn't take too much from it. And I'm fearing a close combat, so I'm going to switch into Pinchy. But it sounds like it's a grass knight he goes for, uh, so it's either a special or mixed based one, I don't know. But I know he's got special moves. Um, because then he just goes for Hidden Power, Ice, and cares me. I thought Gliscor outsped Infernape, but I'm just not particularly good at what outspeeds what. I suck. Yay. Um, so I'm just bringing Gyarados, because, well, yeah. What else are you going to do? And uh, I go for Waterfall, because it's a safe option, and it still does a crap ton to the... Um, well, it still does a lot to the Swampert. And... Instead of going for another waterfall, which would have just about KO'd, I decide to switch into Snorlax for some some weird reason. I don't know, but he roars me back into my Gyarados, and that gets an Intimidate on, which sort of does help, actually. Well, it should do, anyway. And I go for waterfall, and it lives on the sort of tiny, tiny amount of HP that it covered with the leftovers from my switch, so yay. Uh, so it roars me out into um, oh. uh, Metagross, that's the one. 
and he then earthquakes me and gets a crit. I'm pretty sure I would survive that without the crit because the intimidate thing and the fact that Metagross is naturally just a bulky thing. It's a big machine. Yeah. Awkward silence. Um, so I'll just go back into my Gyarados and waterfall that thing for the KO and I'm going to die to my own life orb. So that's that. And he's going to bring in Gengar and I'm bringing in uh, Heatran. He goes for Focus Blast and I go for Fire Blast. They both miss. And then he goes for um, Focus Blast again and he, uh, he gets a crit that KOs me. I don't know if that mattered that time. I don't think it did because well it's Heatran. So. It's not as special defensively bulky as, I don't know, other stuff. So I bring in, um, I bring in, uh, Snorlax, Father Jack. Takes Thunderbolt quite nicely, and my Crunch doesn't quite KO, it's just like tiny little HP. Uh, I live the poison with just 4 HP, and he's just going to kill me off with the Thunderbolt. So that is the game I have lost, all the wonderful stuff, I don't know, good game, rate, comment, sub, join, soldier, bye.